the new 1071 The Boss, classic rock of the 70s, 80s, and more. I'm Michelle Amabiel, and I am talking to Don McLean. Don McLean's going to be at the Count Basie Theater with Pure Prairie League on September 28th. Very, very honored to have you here on the show, sir. Welcome to The Boss. Well, thank you for having me. This is going to be a great show coming up. Now, uh, you saw Count Basie a few times? Yes. Um, I saw Count Basie with uh, Sinatra at the Eurus Theater, and I saw him twice. He did a like a 10-day run. Saw him also on the show, I believe, was uh, the great Ella Fitzgerald. So you can imagine. I could totally uh, imagine. Quite a beautiful evening of music. Well, you're blessed to have seen that. Well, I'm excited to see you. I, I have. I am very excited to see you. I've never seen you before. My friend Barbara saw you at uh, Carnegie Hall. It was. Uh, she said. Oh, wow. It, yeah, she said it was amazing that uh, you do, did. Wow. Yeah, that you did like such a great set list, and that you were very loose that night. <laughs> well, that's great. I thank you very much for that. And uh, Wendy McClure, uh, she is our morning girl, uh, part of uh, the Robin Wendy Morning Show. She said that when uh, she was in high school, she had an English teacher that passed out the lyrics to American Pie to the whole class. And she had oh, to wow. study it line by line. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> I'm just wondering if teachers around the country have, have done done that. Is, they, ha- they studied it as a part of great American literature. Well, I'm honored that they think that. Um, but. Uh, I guess they're always trying to find ways uh, to use something that kids can relate to in order to, you know, get them to, to study a little bit and think about some things. It's uh, I guess the first thing they have to do is get control of their attention, you know, so they can get some thoughts in there. Well, the amazing thing about American Pie, if you think about it, it's 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 an epic poem, kind of like the Iliad, but it's set to music. Did 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 that ever occur to you when you were writing it? Um, nothing occurs to me uh, much except what I'm doing. Um, I don't think about, I don't stand outside myself and look at myself or what I'm doing. Everything comes from, always has sort of come from in, inside me and. Uh, Usually a song comes to me like full blown. I just start singing the thing, you know, and I'll have the tape recorder and I'll grab it and I'll sing into the tape recorder and uh, maybe a verse or a few lines or something. Um, but the words and the melody come together. Well, does it does it blow your mind that uh, a song has become? It's a part. It's a part of American uh, fa- fabric. I mean, it's in the Library of Congress. Well, if you can imagine, you know, I grew up in. Uh, a place called the Woods of Larchmont, which were actually part of the city of New Rochelle, New York. I, you know, really was a very average kid and not even average in school and uh, not a great sportsman or anything. By the 1970s, most everybody was behind me. You know, they weren't earning what I was earning. They didn't have the opportunities or the experiences I was having or anything like that. So it was quite a transformation, you know, that took a long time for me to get used to because I didn't think I was uh, all that uh, important. So it's been a, a great thing to work and love music and sing these shows and travel the world and write songs and make records and uh you know and have all this time pass it's been 50 years almost now that i've been had a career of almost 50 years long i mean that's ridiculous uh, but uh, you know that is something that people aspire to and it's ama- amazing you've had such a uh, like I said, a, a very long career, a Grammy Award, a Songwriters Hall of Fame. And now you've got a new album coming out next year, uh, Botanical Gardens. You have a new story to tell. Now, uh, t- tell me about what, what we can hear on the new uh, new album. What have you been uh, writing about? What What's inspiring you now? Well, I guess being older and yearning for young romance, and uh, uh, Botanical Gardens, the song that's the primary song uh, that others flow from is about, uh, you know, walking, coming from the, the hard, noisy, impersonal city, uh, walking and seeing these big gates and going through them and into this go- glorious garden of beautiful girls and flowers and pretty birds and, uh, you know, moonlight swims and things like that. The day comes, the time of the day ends, and the sun is going down, and, you know, they're 
the gates are about to be closed and I have to, yeah, the song says, you know, will I go back to the world or, or stay there? It's almost like heaven or something. So you're going to be performing any, previewing any of these songs when uh, we see you at the Basie? Oh, yeah, sure. I, I will do. I do everything. I do all the songs I'm working on, new songs and all the songs from the records and, of course, the hits or the very famous songs like American Pie and Vincent. So, so, uh, so you uh, started touring in August. How, how's that? How's that? That bit been? This is your first time on the road in a while, right? No, I've been I've been touring constantly all the time. I sometimes I have you know times when I do less in a month than in other times, but um, I don't think I've ever taken a day or you know a year off. Uh, since 1968. Oh, wow. I'm always rambling around. I like to travel and ramble and see things and move. I don't like to stay in one place for too long. Well, you will be coming to Jersey the 28th. Yeah, Can- I would like to tell you that uh, we have a five-piece band from Nashville, so it's not just me alone. It's, it's, a, it's a show, and uh, the people out there can go on YouTube and see uh, uh, performances that I've done with with my band going back probably 15, 20 years. And then, of course, there are performances of me as a solo artist that go back 20 years before that. You know, you know, you know what's really what's really cool. Cool. I was thinking about this when you came out with Garth Brooks, when uh, you and he brought you out and you did uh, did American Pie with him. That that was a crazy moment. It certainly was, wasn't it? It, it, it was, and uh, it was it was a it was life changing. And the next day, I couldn't go anywhere in New York. Everybody recognized me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when Garth says something's cool. <laughs> yes, Garth is the man still and still out there going to do a record breaking tour. He's going to break all records and uh, he knows how to do what he does very, very well. And uh, he is beloved and he's been I don't really know him that well, but he's been right there for me a number of times. He was on that little TV special I did for PBS called Starry Starry Night. He came to New York and presented me with the Songwriters Hall of Fame Award and made a lovely presentation. And and then, of course, before that, he had me on, on the show. He still sings American Pie every night on his massive tour that he's doing now and um what can i say you know it's a it's it's, a, it's nice to know that uh, some people uh, care about you and i i can't wait for the show thank you so much for hanging out with the new 1071 the bus don mclean september 28th the camp basie theater tickets still on sale and we will see you there well thanks very much sure.